Hey guys, Alex here and welcome back to my channel Tacoma Mozilla, which is all about installations and modifications to my 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. So if you're into this type of thing, please go ahead and hit the subscribe and like and bell notification buttons down below, which will help me keep posting videos such as this one. In today's video, I will be creating a demo on how to use the Smittybill XRC3 winch. So stick around, let me roll the intro and see you on the other side. Last summer, I installed this body armor bumper guard with the LED light bar and a winch. And the winch is the uh, Smittybilt XRC3, which is the third gen, and also came with the uh, synthetic cable. And uh, if you haven't seen that installation video, please go ahead and access the link right up in this corner here. So it's been about nine to 10 months since that installation. And although I managed to hit a few trails last year, I never really found a reason to use it yet, which is a good thing, I guess. And uh, a lot of you have been asking me how I access the winch given that it's installed inside and it's hidden. I figured that doing this video would be a good way to demonstrate how to operate it. So follow along and let me show you. Okay, so I'm wearing a GoPro so you can see how I can access this from my vantage point. Let's pop the hood. Right, and this is my uh, remote control unfortunately it's not wireless so we're gonna have to plug this in and this is the plug for the controller uh, it also has a magnet so you can conveniently attach this to anything metallic anyway like so hope you can see that and let me just turn on the other camera here okay so you should be able to see that now these are the two ports that we we can plug things into this is for the uh, remote control and this is an additional auxiliary post uh, which um, is actually inconvenient to use because of the location also i'd rather use the uh, battery if i need to attach anything so this is the remote plug pop it out and all you got to do is Basically keep this uh, symbol here, the arrow with the tab on the top and fill your way in and just push until you hear a click. There you go. And to remove, just push this tab in and pull. Might need to use two hands, so push and pull. There you go. So let's just put it back on. Pretty simple. I'm just about five feet seven and um, I can access things easily. So it shouldn't be a problem for anybody taller. So once you have this plugged in, the light on the remote should be able to see it. The lights on the remote are now on and you can see if I press out, it turns off. If I press in, the red light comes on and also the flashlight comes on. So hopefully you can see all that there. Okay, so in order to uh, control the uh, clutch, there is a uh, shifter on the right side of the winch right here. And it has two sides. One says engage and the other one says freeze pull. So in order to uh, pull out the cable at this point, we need to switch it to freeze pull. And hopefully you can read that there facing towards the front of the truck and if you want to start pulling you have to turn this around and make sure that engaged is facing the front of the truck so let me just see if I can stick the camera in front so you can see Okay, so I'm all set up on this end. I have my uh, toe strap and the remote control and the uh, cable ready to go. Now all I gotta do is find something heavy to pull. So let me just look around here. Now my TLX is gonna be too light for that. 
Okay, so we got potentials right here. This is the uh, brand new Ford F-150 Limited. And I'm sure my neighbor will not mind at all. All right, so my neighbor had graciously allowed me to borrow his truck for this demo. And uh, we're all set up here. Cable is all set up. And we have our dampener bag and also the um, tow strap on the other side is installed. So let me just run through some quick checks here. We have the shifter switch to engage. We have our chalk and also our handbrake is up. So we are good to go. Okay, so operating this is very simple, very basic. We have the in and out uh, buttons here. In this case, we want it to be in the in position. So as you can see that the red light is on and the trigger is right here. So all we got to do is press when we're ready to go. So uh, we are pulling an F-150, which is about 5,700 pounds curb weight. And my taco is about 45, 4,600 pounds. So there's about 1,100 pound difference here. And uh, let's see how this baby works. <laughs> okay we had a little bit of trouble there because apparently he's got his park brakes on but uh, we're good to go he's on neutral and let's give this another try Just keep an eye on your lights. We just want to avoid seeing any red lights because that would mean that the, uh, the winch is overheating. But yeah, so far so good. Not sure if you can see the winch in action, but you should see the spool. So there you go, that completes our demo and uh, everything went well. So that concludes the demo and I hope that this gives clarity on how to access and how to operate the hidden winch. Please hit those subscribe, like and share buttons and leave comments or questions down below to help my channel and I would really appreciate that. Also thanks to my neighbor Lal for being part of this demonstration and thanks for letting me use your brand new Ford F-150 limited edition and uh, that was a lot of fun. So this is it for today's video. Please check out my other videos and stay tuned for more. And uh, for now, if you can be anything, be kind and be nice to that guy right beside you. Cheers.